So we're just going to use the Makeup Forever Professional Paris Ultra HD Foundation. We're just going to apply, apply a small amount onto our face. Next we're going to be using some Bobbi Brown and it's just a foundation stick in the colour Golden 6. So we're just going to apply a little bit under our eyes, onto our chin, the bridge of our nose and then we're just going to be taking a flat foundation brush and we're just going to pat that in. You can use a damp beauty blender just to get rid of the excess there, but that's an option. And we're going to be taking an eyeshadow palette and we're just going to be taking the neutral colour. And I'm going to be using a flat eyeshadow brush. I'm just going to be putting that all over my eyelids. And just with a fluffy brush, I'm going to be taking a little bit of this maroon colour and I'm just going to be putting the smallest amount in the crease of my eyelid, just like this. And I'm just really going to blend that in. I don't want to make it too dark, I just want to give the slight hint of the corner of my eye. Next, I'm going to be taking a little bit of just a white colour and I'm going to brush this fluffy one off and I'm just going to be putting a little bit on the inner corner of my eyes just to brighten them up. Next, I want to do some liquid eyeliner and this is a new one that I got today and it's hyper glossy liquid liner by Maybelline New York and just because this look isn't too dramatic I'm going to be creating a very small wing Next, I'm going to be taking a small, just a small brush, and I'm going to be dipping it into this chocolate brown colour, and I'm just going to be lining my waterline. I'm not going to take it past halfway, because if I go too close to the inner corner of my eye, it's going to make my eyes appear smaller, and we don't want that look. Next, I'm just going to be taking some of that chocolate brown again and I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. And I'm going to be using a slightly wider flat brush. Okay, now I'm just going to be contouring the bridge of my nose. So basically, we want to take that same chocolate colour and we want to draw it down to either sides of your nose. So it's going to look a little bit funny at first, but once you blend it all in, it looks less ridiculous. I'm just going to take a damp beauty blender and I'm just going to blend that in. Next, I'm going to be taking the fluffy blush brush. And I'm just going to be dipping it into this maroon colour. I chose mar I choose maroon because it works really well with my skin tone. And if I'm trying to go for that natural sort of look, I don't want like hard lines. So this just blends really well with my skin. So it's just the colour I use. And I'm just going to do the forehead. Just on the corner of the forehead. And 
just my jawline. Then next, I'm going to be taking my Australia's Mega Lash Mascara. Um, I didn't realize it was waterproof, but um, because I bought it, I'm going to use it. Um, and as you might know, I enjoy using two brushes just because I don't like that clumpy look. So I also use a L'Oreal Mercier brush and it just looks like this. And I use that after I use whatever mascara I'm using just to brush my lashes out. And then I'm just going to be taking that blush brush again and I'm going to be taking my Makeup Forever and I'm not quite sure what color this is. It's a uh, not sure what color it is. It's just a very purpley pink sort of color and I'm just going to be using that as blush. I also like to put a little bit on my chin, the tip of my nose, and just on my forehead slightly. And just to finish the look off, I like to use a Lucas Pawpaw ointment, and it's, it's basically just like lip balm, and it keeps your lips moist. Um, and I use this under everything. So if I'm wearing lipstick, I'll put it underneath. Um, it also gives a really nice gloss. Um, personally, I don't like wearing lip gloss, but um, this gives me the same shiny look. So that's how I finish my look off. There we go. So this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, give it, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see some more, please hit subscribe.